it's time to check out another puzzle box from Escape Welt. This time, it's the Space Box. Before we get started, a big thanks to Escape Welt for not only providing us with a number of puzzles to check out, but also for extending our Bellhop discount code. As this is the fourth puzzle box we've reviewed from Escape Well, we're not going to get into a lot of detail about who they are, etc. That's covered well enough in our previous reviews. All you really need to know is that Escape Well is a German escape room company that shifted to making wooden puzzles due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Their puzzles are all laser-cut birchwood and include some traditionally flat puzzles, as well as 3D puzzles like the space box we're looking at here. The goal of each of these 3D puzzles is to figure out a way to get them open. And when you do, you are awarded with a small prize. After solving the puzzle, you are left with a keepsake that looks pretty cool on a shelf, makes for a great conversation piece, or it can be used as a very cool gift box and passed on to someone else with a gift inside. Now, the space box is one of Escape Welt's newest puzzles, and they let me know that this is the hardest one they've published yet. Something I can't dispute. For a look at the packaging of this 3D puzzle box, just again, get a good look at the box from all sides. Check out our unboxing the space box video on YouTube. Now, one thing that stuck out about this puzzle immediately upon opening it was how loose some of the pieces are. There are four sliders on the box that immediately upon opening it start to slide out and in of the puzzle. Certain ways of holding this puzzle just let things move which of course makes doing intentional things with those pieces that much harder. Now, I don't know if this was by design or if my particular copy of the space box was looser than it should have been. As I'll say this looseness did impact our ability to solve the puzzle as each of these sliders needs to be set to certain points at the same time. And you have to be very careful when setting one not to have another slider slide out on you. Now I personally suspect that this was a feature, not a bug, but I hesitate to say why, as we don't want any spoilers here. Very true. Now, other than this minor issue, the puzzle itself is very chunky and solid. Etchings in the wood were very clear and easy to read, and nothing felt like it was going to break just by playing around with it. This was really the first of the puzzles I hadn't felt any concern about breaking things. Now, this might be that I'd had my hands on more of them at this point, but mm. there was also something about its assembly that was just reassuring. Now, this one feels very solid and well put together. Now, except for the fact that some sliders pop out at you right away, there's no real indication on this box where to start at all. Of all the Escape Well puzzle boxes we played with and managed to solve, this one had us stumped the longest. Literal weeks went by with me, Sean, my wife, my kids, and our friends fiddling around with this thing on and off until I finally realized what to do first. Now, once we got that going, we started making progress until we got completely stuck again. Then, at one point later, a piece popped out that hadn't before. And from then on, it actually wasn't much longer before I'd solved the puzzle and gotten to the prize, which was pretty typical of these puzzles. While it felt good finally getting the puzzle open, it just wasn't as rewarding as solving, say, the quest pyramid, because we had no idea what we did to make that one piece suddenly pop out. One minute, we're flipping things around, and suddenly there's a bit sticking out that wasn't there before. It wasn't until I went online to check the proper solution that I learned that there's an entire part of the, part of the puzzle that we basically skipped and solved by accident. Yeah, this was a bit frustrating. In fact, Mo had guessed at what was happening at one point, and I dismissed it as it had just seemed wildly unlikely that they would do something like that. And boy, was I wrong. Yeah, there is a bit of engineering in this that's pretty dang clever. Now, to add to this, though, this part of the puzzle, we wasted at least an hour thinking we hadn't solved it yet and still had things to do. Here we were manipulating things, expecting something to happen, but nothing was. And that's because we had already done the thing without knowing it. These unintentional solutions are really a frustration in these puzzles, though luckily they don't happen too often. Yeah. This one in particular, however, I think might pop up more often than most. Now, on a more positive note, I think it would have been near impossible to brute force this puzzle or solve the whole thing by luck. Trust me, we tried on a few parts when we were stuck, 
mixing different possible combinations and trying to lockpick things by feeling how manipulating one part might make another part jiggle to think it's in the right place or wrong. And this got us nowhere. While we did somehow manage to accidentally solve one part of the puzzle, you're going to need logic to actually finish this and get it open. Indeed, one aspect of this puzzle would require trying about 1,300 combinations to brute force, and the laser-etched birch has enough of a flex to it that you don't get the sort of feedback you might expect if you are trying to pick something by touch. Uh, you know, that the, when, you, when, you, when you move the, the latch, things move that wouldn't move if it was like, a, for instance, a solid metal key, uh, something. Right. Now, one interesting thing about this puzzle is by the end, you technically end up with two compartments you could hide gifts in. One of these is open before the other, and this could make for a cool mid-puzzle surprise, or perhaps a hint at what you put in the main compartment if you use this as a gift box. Now, as a bonus, if you are thinking of picking up this puzzle box just to use it as a gift box, and have no interest in solving it yourself, for this one, you can find a short video on Escape Vault's website that tells you how to get in and out in under 30 seconds. Now, who do you think should be looking to pick up a copy of this 3D puzzle? When the rep from Escape Vault noted this was their hardest puzzle yet, they weren't kidding. Of all the boxes, this one took the longest to get open by far, taking weeks longer than the others. At this point, my kids still haven't figured out how to open it and have seemingly given up on it for now, though I'm sure at some point they'll notice it sitting on a shelf, pick it up, and start playing with it again. This puzzle really was baffling at first, and tempted me to look up some form of hints. Now, while a full space box solution can be found on the Escape Welt site, and it's broken up so you don't solve the whole thing at once, I didn't want to use that if possible. So what we did instead when we were stuck is we googled specific hints especially on one specific puzzle, and that was the one that we found out we had already accidentally solved part of it. And once we stopped trying to find a solution we already had, the rest of the puzzle started to fall into place. Now, the nice thing is that you can look at the title of the different hints and know just from that what you have or haven't solved. And that was all that was really required. Not mm -hmm. the steps, but the concept of what you were trying to solve. Now, before part starting this puzzle, we had already opened three other Escape Vault wooden puzzle boxes. And I think at this point, I wouldn't call us pros or anything, but we're starting to get a good feeling for how these puzzles are solved. What kinds of things you can manipulate, what you have to do, what can or can't or should or shouldn't be moved. And I think this really helped in regards to us getting the space box open. I have a feeling if this was the first box we got from Escape Well and I had played with this one first, I would have gotten frustrated, ended up looking up a solution online, at least to get that first step to get it started. Yeah, absolutely. This one in particular could be confidence wrecking to a beginner. Due to this, I don't think the space box makes for a good intro to this style of puzzle. This is not a beginner box. To me, the space box is for experienced puzzle box fans looking for a challenge. I can't see this being a good first wooden puzzle box experience. Now, if you are looking for more of an entry level box, then I recommend the Quest Pyramid, which we reviewed a couple weeks back. It was much more straightforward in how it had to be solved and walks you through the steps and makes you feel good right away for getting that first answer quickly. Now, once you figured that one out, maybe then you can move on to some of the more difficult boxes from Escape Well. Now, the order I would suggest would be the Quest Pyramid, then the Fort Knox box, then the House of the Dragon, and then finally the Space box, which you can get all of those for 10% off if you use our code BELLHOP over at EscapeWealth.com. That's B-E-L-L-H-O-P. Now, that's a solid set and should give you plenty to work with, as well as great things to leave around and confound your house guests with. Now, what I don't know is they have some bundles of these puzzles. And I don't know if you can get those particular four in a bundle, but that is a way to save some money. Overall, uh, we, our family, everyone who's touched them has had way more fun than expected with these escape boxes from Escape Well. I've still got one more here to check out, but it's a little different. It's a two-in-one box where you first have to build the puzzle before you solve it. And I'm still not sure how they're going to pull it off but where building it isn't going to give you the solution, but we'll see. This one's called the Orbital Box Times Two, and I am looking forward to checking this out as my next Escape Well experience. 
Well, that's it for our review of the Escape, uh, Space Box 3D bo Puzzle Box from Escape Wilt, the most challenging puzzle box we've managed to solve so far. Now, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to like, thumbs up, share, retweet, subscribe, etc. I also welcome you to check out my written review of this puzzle box over at the blog at tabletopbellhop.com.